Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. How are you all doing? How are you all doing? It's already June of 2018. Can you all believe that we're actually going to high school? I'm honored to stand before you all as a Hamilton valedictorian of the Hamilton 8th grade class of 2018. As I look across at all of your faces, I remember our past and can imagine all of your promising futures. Our class theme of this year is, and now our adventure begins. When I think about this quote, it makes me picture a chapter book. Each day is like a page in the story we are creating. There are different sections in our lives, like there are uh, chapters and books. We are closing the chapter titled, Middle School, the time when our family members couldn't recognize that it was us on the phone because our voices were changing. <laughs> to fully understand this moment, we have to look back to the past and cherish our moments at Hamilton. The sixth grade year was the hardest time because many of us were new to Hamilton and needed friends. But in the end, we learned to focus more on our work. But as we worked together, we came together as a family, the Hamilton family. Then we faced seventh grade. The courses got more rigorous. There were new teachers, and we gained more knowledge. We started to raise our standards for education. We needed to work harder, understand more, and assume more responsibilities. In eighth grade, it was time to get older and wiser. There are words for high school. High school will bring us on the path towards college and our future careers. We put our focus and perseverance on the, to the test to boost grades and check certain high schools out. We, with all the time we put in, it paid off. We got into great high schools, got even more experience at work, and most of all, we got to, be, to understand and be proud of ourselves. When we faced challenges in the last three years, we were not alone. Our teachers and Hamilton staff members were there to encourage and teach us. And our families cheered and sacrificed for us to help us succeed. I want to personally thank my mom and dad for putting their lives on the line to guide me. I also want to thank my family and honorary family for supporting and watching me thrive. Now my fellow eighth graders, please join me in thanking first our families and then our teachers and Hamilton staff members for helping us through our middle school years. Parents, family members, and guardians, please rise so we may thank you. Please rise so we may applaud you. Thank you so much for bringing us this far. You may not be seated. I would like to individually recognize the teachers and Hamilton staff that have helped me and my fellow classmates. Ms. Schmidt. Uh, Ms. Schmidt always had a smile and kept us on task. She brought positivity and enjoyment in math. She incorporated hands-on activities and made us see the wonders of numbers. Mrs. Edgerton. Mrs. Edgerton was a new math teacher who started to work with Ms. Schmidt. She was very cheerful and she connected our learning experiences to interesting stories. She helped me understand that math is something not to fear and with enough understanding, you can solve in seconds. Ms. Kern. Yeah. Ms. Kearns was our eighth grade science teacher who listened and answered all of our numerous questions, especially by me, you know, you know. Uh, now I know that if you put effort into helping others, they'll achieve more. Mrs. Adams. Yeah. Yeah. Mrs. Adams. Mrs. Adams, the English arts teacher, improved her writing skills and our understanding of major current events. She made, me, she made us think outside of our school lives. Mrs. Fiore, here you go. Mrs. Fiore, our social studies teacher, brought us up to speed on European and US history. She tells us that even with late start or let down, it is never too late to get back up and bring others to the goal they seek. And Ms. Poli. <laughs> Ms. Poli Gorgon teaches A3 math, is known for being strict and having high expectations, but she made me believe that having some strict standards can influence productivity. And Mrs. Muhammad. There you go. So, Mrs. Muhammad. I always saw Mrs. Muhammad take part in school shifts in addition to her work as a vice principal. She showed that even with a busy schedule, 
can manage and complete daily tasks. Mrs. Boyd White. There you are. Mrs. Boyd White cares for our well-being like we were her kids. Personally, Ms. Boyle's trust and encouragement compelled me to broaden my focus to the study of medicine and pharmacology. Mrs. Simonson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Mrs. Simonson made sure that everyone takes no small step, but a massive one. She represents the ideal that we shouldn't seek for minor goals, but enormous ones when making life choices. Last but not least is Dr. Drummond. Dr. Drummond. Dr. Drummond made sure that we received great education and were satisfied with the school. She showed us that no matter how big the job is and how much responsibility is needed, we can succeed as long as we have grit. Okay. I would like to share with my fellow classmates that we, the class of 2018, can do whatever you want, you want in the future. We can become like the great teachers at Hamilton, or caring politicians, new sports legends, best-selling authors, artists, and even engineers who have designed the new artificial intelligence that put us all on the brink of unemployment. Very nice. People will recognize our accomplishments and how we change the world for the better. But before we look into how we can influence the future, we need to strive to better ourselves. Like we see each morning, I, like what we said each morning at Hamilton, we need to be honest, attentive, well-mannered, kind, and studious. If you stick by this pledge, you can attain your passions. Some of you may have heard the saying before. Watch your thoughts, they become words. Watch your words, they become actions. Watch your actions, they become habits. Watch your habits, they become character. Watch your character, for it becomes your destiny. By Frank Outlaw. I'm inspired by this quote because it shows how your fate is driven by your thoughts. By keeping this in mind, you can avoid following a path that you don't desire. There's nothing wrong with making mistakes. Mistakes lead to opportunities, and misfortunes lead to change. Even if you face pain and big obstacles that will push you down, embrace it. If you do so, you can grow and move forward and become stronger in life. The only limit is time. Success isn't sudden, but gradual. It takes time to grow, and over time, you will be more capable of facing challenges. I know that we will impact the world like never before. History started out with little knowledge. It gradually changed as human curiosity and innovation brought them forth to today. Our ancestors looked beyond the dusty horizon and pass these valuable characteristics to us. We, as humans, evolved and learned from the yesterdays there were and prepare for the tomorrows we await. It will soon be, my, it will soon be time, my fellow Hamiltonians, to rise and take this great step in our journey. Keep this in mind and prepare for the time we're need the most and seize the day. I hope all of our futures are filled with prosperity, long, long, lifelong co connections with others, and happiness. Remember that Hamilton is always our home. So. So, Hamilton forever. I was gonna say, everyone, everyone, please join me. Hamilton forever. Louder. Thank you so much.